Like, this is a dream come true. Like, this is my 10th year now fighting as a professional, and to be on the first live UFC card, uh, you know, in the whole province, fighting for the belt, like, you could have painted a better picture. And this is the biggest opportunity in my life, and I'm just enjoying the ride right now. How many people do you anticipate coming in for the show that day? Well, I mean, the 42,000, I think, will be gone in the pre-sale. I think the UFC will have to release more. It's, you know, it's like, you know, they say the hottest stick in town, and it's going to be that. And you, you can already feel the buzz, and it's three months away. So you can just... The closer the event gets, I think the, the scope and magnitude of it is just going to skyrocket. Is there more pressure when you are having to fight in front of a crowd this big? I, I like fighting in front of the, the, the bright lights. I feel I've had my best performances when I've done that. You know, I, I fought uh, the number one contender in the UFC in 2006 when I went up a weight class. I was the 5-1 underdog. You know, first fight on the pay-per-view, and I went out and finished him in the second round. So, like, I feel those are when I have my best performances. So I just I look forward to, you know, stepping out and hearing the roar of the crowd. Of course, with George representing French Canada, you representing English Canada. How do you feel about having that honor, for lack of a better word? Well, it's definitely an honor just to be on this card. But you know, George St. Pierre, he's such a good um, you know role model for for any athlete, and for him being Canadian, and, you know, it's just it's it's just great to be on the card. And he, he's he's such a good mentor for for the athletes coming up. Is there a rivalry between the French fighters and the English fighters? No, I came up uh, actually in the Quebec-based promotion because since Ontario was not sanctioned, my my first ten fights were in. The Quebec-based promotions, and I had, uh, I still to this day have a huge fan base there, and, and it's just the support there in, in Quebec, and now it's finally going to spill over to Ontario, and the fans are going to get to appreciate in you know, all the years of work that we've done. How big is fighting in the London area? I think you know, it's it, like the UFC is going to topple all, all the all the areas in Ontario. You know, every city right now is vying for it, and I think London would be a perfect fit. Uh, for the UFC, but you know Toronto, they needed to do it here for the first show so they can do the, the record sale because that's exactly what it's going to be. They're going to break all records. Talk about this match coming up for you that April 30th. Who's well, this, it with? What does it mean? This is the inaugural uh, 145 belt. You know, this is the first time the UFC's ever put this uh, belt on the, on the line. Uh, they 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 own the WC and now they can combine the WC and UFC. So they, they brought the weight classes over. So it's nice that the the 135 and 145 pound division finally getting the recognition that it deserves. And I'm just honored to be in the inaugural event. Um, are you the first person from the London area to be on the stage like this? Oh, Sam Stout, my teammate, he, uh, he, he's fought in the UFC plenty, and uh, he, he's a UFC star. Uh, we're still waiting to hear if he's going to be on this card. He had a bit of an injury, so hopefully he's on it. But, yeah, he's definitely, uh, you know, paved the way for all of us as well, and it's finally nice to have a title shot for uh, a London boy. Finally, tickets go from 50 bucks to $800. What do you think about the pricing? Do you think they're overpriced or not? I, I don't think they'll be hard to, you know, like I said, it's the hot, hottest ticket in sale, or a hottest ticket in town. I think uh, people are going to grab them for whatever price. Like It's, it's just going to be one of those events that you, you know, you, you'd like to say you were there. And every fan, I guarantee, will go home satisfied. Where are you at in your career right now? Right now I'm in my prime of my career. I couldn't be asking for a better time to get this title shot. I'm the mentally mentally the strongest I've ever been and physically the strongest. I'm, I'm, I'm ready and focused for this. And for the, your opponent, this finally, this particular match, will this be the toughest opponent for you? or? Oh, no question. He, he's up there with George St. Pierre and Anderson for the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter. He's won his last 11 fights, seven by knockout. He's a, he's a you know very destructive fighter, very... Uh, you know, he's the best number one fighter in the world, but those are the type of fights I've been always looking forward to, and I'm looking forward to, you know, facing him.